This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1012, Mindful Spending, A Life and Money Hack, by the Finance Twins of thefinancetwins.com. And I am Dan, I'm your host. Welcome back to Optimal Finance Daily. Hope you're having a great week so far. This podcast is where I read to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. I do that seven days a week. And before we get to the Tuesday post, thank you so much to Fundrise for their continuing support. Fundrise enables you to instantly access high-quality, high-potential private market real estate projects from high-rises in D.C. to multifamily apartments in L.A. And each real estate project is carefully vetted and actively managed by Fundrise's team of real estate pros. Fundrise is the future of real estate investing. Visit fundrise.com slash OFD. That's F-U-N-D. R-I-S-E dot com slash O-F-D to have your first three months of fees waived. For now, let's get right to the post as we start optimizing your life. Mindful Spending, a Life and Money Hack by the Finance Twins of thefinancetwins.com. Mindfulness is a word that has become more widely used in the past couple of years. It's been touted to be the key to a happy life. And who doesn't want to be happy? Mindful spending is closely related. In fact, the principle of mindfulness can also be applied to personal finance. One of the biggest barriers to having solid finances is that most people don't have enough money for everything they want. They wish they had the same cars as their coworkers or that summer beach house. You know, keeping up with the Joneses. Mindful spending can help with this very problem. So what the heck is mindfulness anyway? Mindfulness is a fancy word for awareness. Being aware or mindful of how your money is being spent is huge, and that by itself can be a big eye-opener. Like, I didn't realize I was spending 50% of my money on food. Being thoughtful about the way you spend it can multiply the amount of satisfaction you are able to get from it. As Harvard professor Michael Norton famously said, quote, if money isn't bringing you happiness, you aren't spending it right, end quote. If you're just spending money freely, you'll find yourself scratching your head at the end of every month wondering why your bank account is empty. We know, because we've been there. In high school, we worked after school and on weekends to help pay the bills. Getting that first check was awesome, but we started to wonder why we couldn't seem to save any of it. Living paycheck to paycheck the way our mom did is stressful, so that's why we are here to help. Okay, so mindful spending could help, but how? Many people associate mindful spending with being cheap and not having fun. In reality, mindful spending will help you create a life with less stress, more meaning, and, yep, more happiness. It all really comes down to delayed gratification. When Apple releases their latest product, thousands of people line up and stand in line for hours to get it. We're sure many of them just whip out their credit cards and dig themselves deeper into debt. We will break down mindful spending into four steps to help you attain the things you want, but in a way that's responsible, a win-win. Mindful spending step number one, budgeting. The first step is setting aside money each month in your budget to get things that you want. This is in contrast to the things that you need, like shelter, food, etc. This amount will vary for everyone depending on income and lifestyle, but a good starting place is between one and 3% of your monthly income. We use two and a half percent. So if you bring home $2,000 a month, then that would be between $20 and $60 each month to spend on whatever you want. Mindful spending step two, make a list. Write down the item or items that you've been eyeing up at the store or online and rank them in order of preference. For example, if you want a new cell phone and a new set of headphones, then take time to figure out which one you want more. Maybe you need a new dress for a wedding next month. That seems more important than the bedazzled license plate cover you've wanted for ages. Mindful spending step three, make a plan. If the item you want costs $200 and you're setting aside 50 bucks each month, see step one, then it will take you four months to save enough money for that item. But remember, this is money specifically set aside to purchase things you want. This is different from everything else in your budget, including rent, groceries, clothes, and things like that. Next comes the fun part. Mindful spending step four, Make the purchase and don't feel an ounce of guilt or regret. So you did it. You set aside money each month and you finally have enough saved up to buy the item that you wanted. The best part? You didn't go deeper into debt and didn't destroy your budget. Feel proud, not guilty. You don't have to explain your purchases to anyone. But is this sustainable? Yes, we've been doing this for the past two years and here are some of the benefits we've noticed. 
Number one, mindful spending helps you realize what you really want. By the time we've saved enough for the items on our want lists, we no longer want those items. The initial excitement that drives most people to make impulse purchases has worn off, and that item that we wanted so badly, we don't want it so much anymore. If you do still want something after a few months, then you probably really want it. Number two, mindful spending increases your happiness. Research has shown that delaying a purchase actually increases our happiness and satisfaction from the purchase. We enjoy using whatever we buy so much more and appreciate the sacrifice and time it took to acquire it. Number three, mindful spending will help you focus on what really matters. We initially expected that we would miss not having everything we wanted, but quickly realized that we were living in excess. By slowing down on our buying, our brains began to see the world in a different way. We used to spend a lot of time browsing things on the internet, but now we have less interest and have spent more time doing things that add meaning and value to our lives. A new iPhone was just announced earlier this week. We've spent a total of zero minutes reading about the new features. Five years ago, we would have been able to tell you every single spec about the new phone. Now we realize it's not that important and won't change our lives. Number four, mindful spending will teach you that quality is better than quantity. We started to save up for quality items that would last longer. While it is usually more expensive initially, we found that we actually saved more money over the long term by not having to buy the same coffee things over and over again. A great example are the scarves that we have. We paid $80 for them, but we've now had them for five years and they look new. Before that, we would go through cheap ones quickly. A simple example, but it highlights an important point. Number five, mindful spending will make you feel thankful. We began to appreciate gifts much more. Back in the days when we would simply buy whatever we wanted, there were few reasonable things we wanted. So every year around our birthday or holidays, when family members would ask if there was anything we wanted, the answer was usually no, since we bought everything we wanted ourselves or only wanted expensive things we knew they couldn't afford. This would result in getting gifts that we simply didn't enjoy. Now we go to our list and say, actually, yes. Not only do you get something you really want, but you also appreciate the money saved so you can keep saving towards something else on your list. Your loved ones will notice your excitement immediately and they'll feel good that they did something that brought you a ton of joy. Mindful spending has been huge for us. It has saved us tons of money and helped keep our budgets on track, but it's also made us aware of how much stuff we were mindlessly buying. We truly appreciate each thing we budget for and truly want the things we get. While some readers may think this is crazy, we think that living paycheck to paycheck and going deeper into debt to buy things you don't need is more crazy. You just listened to the post titled Mindful Spending, A Life and Money Hack by the Finance Twins of thefinancetwins.com. And thank you again to Fundrise for their support. Come by fundrise.com slash OFD to have your first three months for free. Private market real estate has historically provided excellent ongoing cash flow, even as it supports long-term growth. Private market assets like these are a strategy for diversifying beyond public market investments and even other kinds of real estate, like publicly traded REITs. And Fundrise is the future of real estate investing. The platform's innovations power an investor-first model by eliminating the bloated costs and middlemen that have traditionally weighed down real estate investing saving investors time and money. That's why it's frequently mentioned as a recommended tool in the blogs that I narrate right here. Unparalleled transparency and real-time reporting let you see how the development of specific properties impact your overall portfolio. Check it out. Visit fundrise.com slash OFD. That's F-U-N-D-R-I-S-E dot com slash OFD to have your first three months of fees waived. And that is it for me today. Thanks so much for listening. As always, hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.